What is periodontal disease? Gum disease, also known as periodontal disease, affects roughly half of the U.S. population. Gingivitis can be the beginning stage of periodontal disease. With gingivitis, the gums appear swollen, red, and can bleed easily. There's typically no discomfort with gingivitis. The cause of gingivitis is poor oral hygiene, which allows bacteria to remain on the teeth and infect the gums. The good thing, though, is gingivitis is reversible with better brushing and flossing habits. Untreated gingivitis can lead to periodontitis, a chronic inflammation of the gums and bones surrounding the teeth. Plaque, the sticky whitish yellow film on the teeth made up of bacteria spreads underneath the gums. The bacteria release an acid producing toxin that destroys the gum and the bone. The gums begin to pull apart from the teeth creating pockets that trap these bacteria. Without the help of a dental professional, it's difficult and usually impossible to clean the bacteria from these pockets. The longer the bacteria stays underneath the gums untreated, the more aggressive it becomes. The beginning symptoms may be mild with minimal bleeding and slight swelling. Even in the later stages of periodontal disease, most people report very little pain, if any, or discomfort. Sometimes it's not until having a dental exam with x-rays as well as a measurement of the gums that a person is aware that they even have an infection. Besides poor oral hygiene, there are many factors that increase the risk of developing gum disease. Some examples include the use of tobacco products, crooked, rotated, or overlapped teeth that make it harder to clean the gums, hormonal changes, stress, a high sugar or carbohydrate diet, and health conditions such as diabetes or heart disease. Also, having a family history of gum disease can have an impact as it may make a person more susceptible to certain bacteria. While there's no cure for periodontal disease, there are ways to minimize the amount of destruction to the surrounding teeth and bone. Proper brushing and flossing at home are a good start but this will only help so much. A more frequent dental cleaning regimen of typically every three to four months will help patients maintain better gum health and also treat areas that had been previously infected. Chronic and more aggressive infections can be treated with deep cleanings, cleanings that focus underneath the gums where the bacteria has the potential to create the most harm. Antibiotics can also be placed underneath the gums to minimize site-specific infections. To learn more about periodontal disease, visit our video library and see hundreds of examples of makeovers done by Dr. Michelson. We look forward to hearing from you soon.